Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Noon Tarot. Today we're bringing forth timeless messages for you from your angels. We're going to see which angels are with you the most, what messages that they're looking to bring forward to you right now. Trust that if this video has found you, if there's purpose for it, there's a reason. And uh, there might be just a small message in here for you or there might be a bigger one. So let's get right into it and let's have a look and see who is showing up for you. Ooh, and we have Sal Sandalfon coming in here for you. And Sandalfon is help sent to you and stepping forward to help you to set your intentions, to manifest your goals, your dreams, your desires into fruition. Call on Sandalfon when you need a little bit of support or a little bit of guidance or uh, you know, if you're starting to lose faith in your intentions, right? Sometimes we start to get a little bit impatient and we start to think, oh my goodness, nothing's happening. When in actual fact, there's a lot happening behind the scenes. But whenever we are manifesting things into our world or whatever, we have a goal, a dream, a wish, a desire, something that we want to attract into our life, we always start with an intention, so Sandalfon steps forward today to invite you to write a list, to write one thing down on a piece of paper, to make a wish upon a star, however it is that you set your intentions. It doesn't matter how it is. You can write it on a piece on a bay leaf and then burn it and give it up to the universe. You can write it on a piece of paper and carry it around in your pocket. You can create a vision board um, and put it somewhere where you can see it every day. You pass by it every single day. You can write, uh, you can write intentions on sticky notes and put them on your mirror. Whatever that looks like to you, Sandalfon says, sit, sit in your energy, close your eyes, set your intention, be very clear, be very specific on what it is that you want to attract in your life. Make sure that you are operating from a place of abundance and positivity. That's what we want to focus on. Don't misguide yourself and don't put your focus on the things that you don't want because wherever your energy goes, that is where the energy flows. So that is what blossoms and manifests in your life. So if you, uh, you know, if you say, I don't want a dead end job, all you're going to find is dead end jobs right? Because that's what you're focused on. So forget about the things that you don't want. Focus on the things that you do. But we also need to trust that we have a lot of help, a lot of guidance from our angels, from the universe, from spirit, past loved ones even as well come up to play. And uh, they're all working behind the scenes, a bunch of little elves for you. Okay. And we need to trust that they're doing their job. And you might be tested along the way. You may see signs of encouragement. You may feel as though sometimes you're walking the path alone, but you are not, my friends. No, 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 Siri Bob. So visualize what it is that you want. Set your intentions. Be very clear. Be honest and truthful with yourself. And it doesn't matter how big. It doesn't matter how small. As long as you believe that you have everything. Setting intentions isn't always enough. We need to sit with the emotion of what we are magnifying and what we are manifesting in our lives. And then we speak as though we already have it. I am wealthy. I am abundant. I am loved. I am prosperous. See where we're going with that. And Sandalfon has that very, very important message for you. Guardian angels stepping forth with you at this time. Oh, this is very nice. We have the guardian angel of positivity coming forth to help you stay positive, to help you on your path, to show you that even sometimes when you think that you're alone, you're never, mm -mm, no sorry, Bob, you're never alone. In those times of doubt, of fear, of struggle, of impatience, Call on your guardian angel of positivity to boost you up and to show you the path, to show you the light. You will be shown the way. You will have your hand held and you will be guided and lifted up. We have the guardian angel of solitude here as well. It is through the silence when we sit and we reflect and we connect with our energies. This is where we get messages. 
This is where we bring in healing. This is where we connect with the white light of spirit. Solitude is a very important part of humanity. Not everything that we do, not everything that we're dreaming about involves other people. And sometimes we need to center, we need to ground, we need to take that deep breath. And we need to sit in our energy. And it doesn't always work when we've got a million people running around around us. So your guardian angel of solitude is saying in the quiet, in the stillness, in those times, those moments when you find to spend with self, this is where you're going to get your most important messages, your most important guidance. You're going through a time of wonderful change and transformation. So trust in your journey, whatever that happens to look like to you. For some of you, you're changing jobs, you're changing relationships, you're experiencing a profound time of spiritual growth. You're not the same person that you were a month ago, six months ago, a year ago, six years ago. We all grow, we all evolve, and we all connect different differently. Humanity is going through a massive shift in the collective consciousness and you're part of that journey. The guardian angel of solitude also brings you solace when you're feeling alone. When you're feeling like there's no one around or no one understands you or you feel as though you're meant to walk a path and that no one else can follow. Your guardian angel of solitude is giving you that comfort, that guidance that you need, that you're looking for to help you, to reassure you, to comfort you and to just hang out with you. So that even if you are in the solitude, in the solitary energy, it's comforting. We have the moon. Nine of fire. Queen of water. And the chariot. This is lovely. Very lovely. We have the sun at the bottom of the deck, beaming with a radiant light towards you, bringing you positivity, the angel of positivity. Let's see how that works. The sun, without the sun, nothing can grow. The sun brings happiness and light. The sun brings clarity, growth, success, and abundance into your world. Replaces the shadows with some beautiful light. The sun is where we have fun, is where we engage in life and where we just feel more vibrant and more alive. So the sun is shining upon you and we also have the moon. Hmm. So this is a time of deep introspection for you. When we have the sun and the moon, funny that uh, when I'm at the time that I'm doing this particular reading, it is a timeless message. However, the sun at the bottom of the deck and the moon right out front Right now, we're in eclipse season as I do this reading. This is in April of 2023, and we have a uh, new moon, a black moon, solar eclipse in the sign of Aries on the 19th or 20th of April, depending on where you happen to live. And this is a huge energy shift, a huge energy boost. A lot of people are going through change. And those eclipses, they can really shake up some energy and they can bring in new opportunities. They, it's a perfect time to set intentions for manifestation. For some of you, if you're seeing this reading um, well after the eclipse, um, there's other eclipses throughout the year. And so this can certainly be a message for you that whatever intentions that you have set around moon cycles, around eclipses, something is about to shine and blossom in your life. Things are coming full circle and you're at the end of a cycle and so get ready. Get ready for a shift. Get ready to manifest and to realize your blessings that are pouring into your life. But the moon card does bring you an element of spiritual growth. This is where we connect with our subconscious. This is where, you know, we really kind of think about what it is that we truly desire. Something is being illuminated for you at this time. Your intuition is heightened. You may be getting a revelation 
at this moment. And I feel that it's really very much when you're in those moments of quiet. There's messages coming through. They may be coming through in your dreams. They may be coming through when you're just sitting there, just having a cup of coffee. Not doing anything, just sitting, having a cup of coffee. You're not really thinking about anything. You're letting your mind wander. And then bam, revelation, epiphany, a burst of clarity or a burst of inspiration. You may even see something out of the corner of your eye. A little shadow. You might see a little orb. And you're thinking, my mind's playing tricks on me. I'm not really sure what's going on. Trust it. It's real. It's there. There's just something right around your peripheral vision. Don't try and chase it. Right? You'll lose it. Don't try and chase it. Just allow. Just allow. Just know it's there. Because you are being guided. You are being brought messages. And when you see those things start to happen out of your corner of your eye, your mind's eye, that's when things are really moving and shaking for you. But the moon card brings in a lot of creativity as well. It's your time to create, to feel inspired, to follow your path, and to work with the moon cycles, to work with the elements of the moon, to be receptive and open. Your spiritual senses are very heightened right now. It's time for the truth. It's time for things to come to light for you. It's time for you to reveal your true self and your true intentions and your true desires. And they will come to fruition for you. The Nine of Fire says here that there might be a little bit of skepticism. Trust, trust, trust is all important. Trust. You're prepared for a journey. You've been through the mud. You've been marching a trail. You've been moving forward. You've had a lot of pressure, a lot of responsibilities. You're a little bit tired. You're a little bit exhausted, but you keep on going because nothing ultimately will keep you back and hold you down. You're prepared. You're right here. The nines are a completion of a journey and you're about to be elevated. You're about to move forward. And you're about to see a new path. Those doors are opening for you. The Nine of Fire in this deck also wants to give you a little bit of a heads up to be prepared. You are prepared and you are re ready to take that next step. So you need to believe in yourself and trust in yourself, but get ready. Keep an open mind, keep an open heart and be ready to spring into action. Don't doubt the process, don't doubt the journey. But the Nine of Fire also does bring in a reminder. Sometimes we need to take a break. You keep for you keep on trudging forward through life, right? There's things that you want. There's things you want to accomplish. There's things you haven't gotten yet. And even though you're tired, you're drained, you're pulled in a million different directions, Spirit still wants you to find a healthy balance somewhere in your world. What can you let go of? What can you release? Because spirit really wants you to not just be ready for those doors opening and for your manifestations coming to fruition, but also wants you to feel calm and at peace. And to do that, we need to find balance. We need to find that healthy equilibrium. We need to find a little bit of harmony. For some of you, you put yourself out there so much to help other people and you take on so much because you're so capable but you need to put it up. You need to put some of it down and you need to spend that alone time. You need to recharge and rest because your journey has just begun. Some of you feel like you've hit a plateau, but boom, there's a little bit of magic in the air for you. Open your heart, the queen of water, connect with your heart space, connect with your intuition. Okay. This is a time of spiritual growth. This is a time of healing and this is a time of relief of receiving for you the queen of water can certainly be the your energy that you're stepping into highly highly spiritual intuitive energies that's coming through for you here your psychic abilities your third eye your crown chakra your soul star chakra all of your higher chakras opening right now some of you you are gaining deeper insights and wisdom you've learned a lot on your spiritual journey your personal journey 
And this is where all those puzzle pieces are starting to come together. The Queen of Water, which is the Queen of Cups, by the way, does bring a sense of peace, a sense of healing, a sense of calm, a sense of, I'm going to take some time for myself, and now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm ready. I'm not rushing anything. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling impatient. I'm not reeling at the fates that nothing's happening. I'm ready for action, but I'm in a calm, centered peace of mind. It's a beautiful energy there. There may also be somebody that's put on your path with the Queen of Water, someone who is very kind, loving, someone who may actually be very spiritual themselves. You might be called upon to see um, a psychic, a healer, right about now. Maybe you go and get a tarot reading done. Maybe you are called to have a mediumship reading done. Perhaps you feel as though you want to connect with one of your past loved ones. Maybe you're seeing things out of the corner of your eye and you're like, what is this all about? You're seeing all these signs and you just want to put them all together. What does it mean for you personally? So you might be seeking out that kind of guidance, that kind of connection right now. But this can, of course, also just be you stepping into your own personal power. But the Queen of Water can also just be somebody who loves you, who cares about you. It could be someone new that's being put on your path, or it could be someone that you already know. I do feel here that with the Queen of Water and the Moon coming out here, I do feel that there is a past loved one for some of you that are, is wanting to connect. They're trying to get your attention. Um, and they're telling you here, pay attention to your dreams and pay attention specifically to your intuition and the signs that you're seeing around you. If you find a feather, if you find a coin, a dime, a nickel, a quarter, something around you, they're sending you a physical sign, something manifesting in your world. And um, there's a reason for that because the nine of fire does sometimes come with a little bit of, okay, I'm here. I'm tired, I've come a long way, and I've put up some very healthy personal boundaries. I've learned a lot on my journey, but man, have I ever had some difficulties, and now I'm feeling just a little bit skeptical. And so whoever is trying to bring forth a message to you is trying to get you to keep healthy boundaries, but drop your guard a little bit. Drop your guard and allow but the chariot shows that you are in alignment with your destiny. The chariot is a card of destiny. The stars aligning for you, all things coming together for you, moving you forward and propelling you towards success and victory. The chariot shows where you recognize your spiritual side. You recognize everything that you're seeing and you recognize your true potential. This is a card of ambition and willpower and never giving up. But it's also one where we're balanced. In order to get that chariot moving, in order to get these two horses moving in the same direction instead of splitting apart, that's a result of finding our balance. When the spirit meets the physical, when the yin meets the yang, when the action meets the receiving. When two worlds collide, our spiritual world and our physical world, this is where we gain that victory. This is where we gain that success. And this is where we move forward in alignment with our true destiny. So it's a beautiful energy. And again, some of you are, you're really about to step forward into a new and exciting journey. The adventures, my friends, have just begun. So hold on to your hat. But remember, it all starts with setting that true intention, letting your guard down, being ready, ready for action, believing in yourself, believing in your dreams. That's where it starts. New beginnings. We've got the fool card coming out for you. Where are you going? What are you doing? Ten of swords. Mm -mm. It's always darkest just before the dawn and there's a new dawn on the horizon for you there. Look at all that beautiful yellow You've been through pain and struggle and strife. And the new beginning is just over that horizon. The Knight of Wands prepare for action. The Knights bring messages, bring news, but also that sense of things moving forward. And we're moving forward here. And we've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Things are getting better. 
when we drop our guard down, when we focus on abundance, when we focus on the wonderful things that we're attracting in our life, this is where we start to get them. The five of pentacles in the upright is an energy of lack, focusing too much on I don't have, I'll never get, I'll never find. It's a card of loss. It's a card of desperation. But when we have that five of pentacles in the reverse, this can be where things start to get a little bit better. Things may not immediately transpire for you, but we're keeping the faith. We're looking at things more positively. We're putting our guard down a little bit. We're starting to have confidence and believe in ourselves that there is something there. There might be a different approach. There might be help along your journey that you may be offered or that you may need to ask for, but we're putting our guard down here and we're opening our mind. So things starting to improve for you. There's improvement on the horizon. There's blessings on the horizon and there's those doors opening on the horizon for you. Again, you may have been in an element where you've been tested, right? It's like, ah, I'm never going to get all this. Oh my goodness. Right. And I'm not feeling good. But sometimes we're tested how we go through our journey, how we handle adversity, how we really learned our life lessons. And we know that we've learned our life lessons when we stop. And something that would normally be a trigger for you. And let's say your car breaks down, right? And normally you would just sit there and you would cry or you would just get angry and you'd lose your mind for a minute. And you know that you've learned your life lesson or you've recognized those triggers when you're sitting there and you're like, oh, man, well, I guess I better figure out how to get out of this. And instead of dwelling on the problem, you have to understand the problems that you're faced with. You have to understand those potholes. But when we focus on finding a solution and we focus on moving forward, we're not allowing ourselves to be triggered in that way anymore. And that's just one way that we get tested to see that we're ready for our manifestations, that we're ready to open the next door and the next portal. Because there's no point, right, if we're not ready, because we'll ignore it. We won't see it. We don't, we're not open to it. So sometimes these little tests in our pathway forward are there for a purpose, for a reason, and it's not the test that we're faced with. It's how we do move forward. So call in your archangels, call in your guardian angels, and they will help you. Help you remain positive, help you look towards the light, help you look at the bright side. Because again, the fool, there's some exciting adventures. There's new beginnings on the horizon. You need to trust yourself, though. Take that leap of faith, the Ten of Swords, right? Things have been challenging. Things have been difficult. And yes, it can be very painful, very difficult to not get mired in the mud, to not focus on the things that cause us grief and pain. It's hard to look in the horizons to the sunrise. It's hard to turn that leaf over. But spirit shows you here that you can absolutely do it. So what are you embracing? What excites you? Where do you want to go? What do you want to improve? What direction do you want your life to go in? Take that leap forward. Take that journey. And trust yourself that you have all the tools and the wisdom that you need to make the right choices, to make the right decisions. So trust in your journey forward. Very exciting things in the future. The Knight of Wands, right? Again, feeling inspired, prepared for action. The Knights, the Knights always take action. And the Knight of Wands is filled with passion and fire and always focusing on success, right? Not letting those little speed bumps of life keep him back. No, Siri Bob. So you could be, you know, in this Knight of Wands energy. There's doors opening for you. There's that new beginning and you're required to take action, Okay. You may also as well have someone on your path that brings you an opportunity that brings forward some good news for you. But it's up to you, always up to you, whether you are opening the door and accepting that opportunity or not. We have free will. And it's a beautiful gift. Um, so we can choose to say yes or we can choose to say no because quite often the new requires us getting out of our comfort zone and that can be a challenge so go forward, my friends, and be aware and be open 
to something exciting blossoming in your world, but set that very clear intention. You are what you think. Think positive thoughts. Uh, yes. Okay. That guardian angel of positivity. Sandal thong, your intention, your thoughts become things. Where you put your energy, that is what grows. Big reminder for you. Believe in miracles. Miracles blossoming in your life, doors opening for you. you Got to believe it. And your final message. If in doubt, ask for inspiration from above. You're always guided. You're always protected. And your angels, your spirits, your guides are always there for you. All right, remember that. This is the most important message out of this whole thing, the angel of positivity helping you through the darkness to move forward to where you want to be. Helping you through times of struggle and doubt, helping you out of this five of pentacles energy into this fool energy, into this chariot energy, into this queen of water energy. So ask for that inspiration, ask for that guidance, ask for that help. And you will not fail. You will not falter on your journey. Those are your messages, guys. Um, I hope there was something here for you, whether it was just a little bit or whether it was the whole thing. But if there was, please uh, take a moment to press like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Leave a comment in the box down below. What are you manifesting in your life? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What's your journey? So I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.